Blaine's comprehensive plan shows the location of commercial areas, residential areas, and industrial areas. So when someone wants to build in an area, the city's main question is, does this development align with the city's plan? If a XYZ uh, resident or developer comes in and says, I want to do this on this piece of property, uh, our planning department will look at the comprehensive plan, they'll look at the zoning and say, you can either do that or you uh, can do that, but you need to submit more information to us, which is typically the case, or you can't do that. At first glance, it seems like the comprehensive plan might just dictate where homes and businesses are built. But going beyond that, it helps cities and the state plan roads, sewer extensions, water lines, and more. And we use it significantly for, um, let's say we're extending sewer and water, which we are on the east side of, of Blaine right now. We need to know uh, the total number or estimated number of residential units, commercial units, etc., so that we can project sewer line and water line capacity. So, for example, right now uh, we are extending from north from uh, Loch Ness Park up uh, north up to Main Street. Mm -hmm. And if we don't know what those uses are in that area, we, we could end up with an undersized line, mm -hmm. which you know, the, the remedy for that is only going back and putting in a bigger one, which obviously you don't want to do. Once a city has a comprehensive plan in place, it helps the Metropolitan Council and neighboring cities plan for population growth and road needs. Along with that, it shows businesses what area they can build in. And once those areas are established, the city lets businesses build if they meet basic planning requirements. People assume that we, A, are either out recruiting these businesses to come to Blaine, uh, or that we have an ability to say, we like X, but we don't like Y. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have that ability. So if you meet, and it doesn't matter what the business is, if you meet our comprehensive plan and you meet our zoning requirements, it is very difficult for any city not to approve, and, and then meet the site planning requirements and so forth. It's very difficult for any city not to approve that. Mm -hmm. In fact, you probably uh, get sued if you do. One area in the city that is about to go into redevelopment is the Oak Park Plaza which should be seeing big changes underway before the year's through. That is a redevelopment on the uh, west side of Blaine at 109th and University. And um, that will be, well, it's, it's probably about a 1960 shopping center. Uh, large parts of that will be removed and uh, a uh, retail uh, uh, redevelopment will occur there. New face left on a lot of the remaining buildings, but a, a cub will be going in there as well. But Blaine didn't get to look at Cub Foods as an anchor in that area and say that they thought that was a good plan for them to build. They work on what number of square feet will be going in, how many parking stalls there will be, and what the elevation and drainage will look like. We work with the developer. They find their tenants. We don't say, well, we'd like to see an anytime fitness and a you know, karate. Well, we, don't, we don't do that. We work in this particular case with Triland Development out of Chicago mm -hmm. who owns the land and said I'd like to develop 65,000 or whatever the number is of commercial space and that's the envelope that we deal in. Uh, we, we will approve signage at the end but we don't go down and say well we want a dry cleaner and X, Y, and Z in there. Uh, that's, that's not the way it works. Coming to the city in the near future are another Aldi, a new Goodwill, a Super Walmart, a Chick-fil-A, and a store called At Home, which is a home furnishing store. Commonly right now with Facebook and other social media, uh, once we do a commercial approval, it's not uncommon to have some Facebook comments saying, well, how could you approve X, Y, and Z? The reality is we don't have a choice if they meet uh, the comprehensive plan and the zoning, and we aren't out recruiting uh, commercial entities to come to blame. A lot of the comments Clark has seen lately have centered around a more upscale grocery store and the desire to have something new in Blaine. While there might be a place for that, no one from those stores is asking to build. Yeah, it's, that's the marketplace takes care of that and its property rights and, and uh, people, people make their own decisions and we, don't, uh, we aren't out uh, uh, chasing restaurants or anything like that either. Um, a lot of it uh, whether it's a Kowalski's or, 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 or Byerly's or whatever that, it's all market driven. Um, and whether Blaine is market is ready to support that is their, their calculus, not ours. As far as what other stores will move into the area in the coming months and years, that remains to be seen. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson, reporting.